What's going on, everybody? I was going to do more of like a longer hobby news video, but when I thought about it, I knew it was probably going to leak like way over 20 minutes. And I like to try to stay under 15, unless it's like me opening up boxes, which I'm not opening the packs anymore on camera, so should cut back on to it. So I'm going to do these in the smaller segments, so if you see some like under 5 minute videos, this may be why. Alright, this has just been out for a couple days. Everybody remembers the LeBron triple logo man. Um, oh, what was it? Backyard Breaks, I believe, was the one that pulled it. They went crazy. I think they went shirtless. All that other stuff out there. <laughs> and I just laughed when I saw this because I didn't know if it was like true or somebody just made this picture up. But then I saw PSA posted it or tweeted it or Instagrammed it or TikToked it. One of three. But um, it's true. They did get it slabbed authentic. Now, I've been reading a lot of comments um, regarding why would you do this, da-da-da-da, why is it not great? Well, I don't understand why they would grade it to begin with. Anyhow, it's a one on one It's not going to be more in value. It's not going to be a less in value. It's a one on one I can tell you now from the people that I've known for years, some decades in the hobby, if they get a card that's truly limited, like a one one a cut auto, um, you know, something out there that they're not going to grade, they will slab it as authentic. Mostly it's been one ones that I've known people doing it with. Reason being is because people will get a hold of that one one they'll want to touch it outside the case, it's going to get dropped, dinged, whatever it may be out there. And the idea behind being authentic is, one, it's an authentic labeled slab. You could uh, sell as a PSA authentic slab, but it's protecting the card for many years to come. Which I fully support that idea completely onto it. You really could just have a PSA slab, but I guess they got to throw the authentic onto it type deal. But that's the reason behind it. I, would, I know people would start doing this with cut autos back in... I don't know if it was 14, 15, maybe 16, one of the years. And it just grew because they're like, that's a good idea. And so you will see it like that out there. I thought it was funny because it says, get it graded, they said. It'll be worth more than said. It'll be worth more than said. Yeah, well, sorry. If you bought into people telling you that, you're wrong. I mean... Unless for some reason there was many of these, but this is the first one ever produced, yada, yada, yada. It's the one one triple logo, man. Cool. I mean, to me, I don't think they did really good justice on the positioning of all the patches and everything onto it, but that's me. I think they could have made it displayed a little bit better than what it was, but that's me nitpicking like always. But I thought it was funny because I saw this out there, I don't know how many people have seen this already, People criticizing why getting it slabbed. Well, it's just authentic. It's nothing crazy. The idea behind it was that I know of probably 20, 30 people, I would say, roughly, to do this kind of stuff with authentic is just to get the card protected because somebody's going to be out there. They're going to mess with it. I mean, ah, uh, who was it? Was it, was it Ty Cobb or... Jackie Robinson, it was one of the cut autos. I can't remember which one it was. And this was in 16 or 17. Somebody may know the story. Guy was playing around with it, left it on his table. Um, it was in a one touch. His kid came in there. I think he was like five years old or something. Mom was cleaning the floor in the office or whatever. I opened it up, jacked it all up. Um... It wasn't Babe Ruth or Clemente, but it was one of the other big ones. For some reason, I think it's either Ty Cobb or a Jackie Robinson or something like that. With this here, your kid can fumble all he wants with it. It's not really going to hurt unless he throws it against something like cement. But anyhow, yeah, I have no issue with that, in my own opinion. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, other than if somebody's trying to use it to boost the price up, which is funny. I mean, I have no... Um, ejection with somebody slapping her card authentic just to preserve it at all. But if you're doing to get a one on one, think it's gonna be worth more? Now that's funny. That's really funny, especially when it's not graded. But all right, everybody, 
you guys have a good one out there. I'll have a few more videos out here like this throughout the week. Um, I have something else I'm going to say, but I'll probably catch it next video. Take care, everybody.